Hello and welcome back to the Game Guru's Final Fantasy Raid Guide series. My name is Shale and today we're going into the skies to defeat Voidwalker in Eden Descent, the second encounter in the new raid released in patch 5.0.1. This boss is a step up in terms of difficulty and has some interesting mechanics that we have not encountered yet in Shadowbringers. Doom Void Guillotine splits the encounter area in half with a massive middle line AoE, followed up by spawning Nynx. These non-targetable ads will travel in a straight line in the direction they are facing. Identify which mob is facing their back towards you and stand behind that one. Doom Void Slicer, very similar to Eden Prime, is a room-wide AoE stack under the boss, but immediately after, four Nynx will spawn and head directly into the boss. If the ad passes through you, you will take moderate damage, however, the vulnerability dot is the real threat. This dot is a 1 minute duration and reduces the amount of healing received and can easily get you killed after a few stacks. Shadow Flame is our tank buster and hits the top 2 on the aggro list, so both tanks need to be alive or someone next on the list will get one shot. Your party will need to spread during Darkfire 3 to avoid the AoE circles, and stack during the Unholy Darkness, which is our standard run of the mill stacking mechanic. After fighting Voidwalker for some time, he will then cast Spell in Waiting, which will start to alter his abilities. Now instead of Darkfire 3 blowing up in a large AoE, it will display a purple timer over a player's head. Players will then have to move out to avoid blasting their party with AoE damage. Unholy Darkness will also be modified. Instead of the initial blast after the telegraph has faded, a yellow timer will be displayed over the player's head. Continue to stack on the player with the yellow timer until the spell has completed. You must be thinking, wait, doesn't that make the fight easier with modifications? I have longer to run out and I have longer to stack up. What makes this phase difficult? Well, it's the overlapping and timing. While five members of the raid is stacking for modified Unholy Darkness, the other three are spread for Darkfire 3. This forces five people to survive through the shared damage from Unholy Darkness pop mitigations and damage reductions, and prepare to shield and heal. If you survive that nasty combination of moves, the boss will now cast Entropy, which is another party-wide AoE. After Entropy is casted, the players will now find themselves in a different phase. Players will also have to look out for a large hand that will spawn either to the east or west side of the room. The hand will begin to cast Empty Hate. This is a room-wide pushback and will blast you across the platform. Be sure to hug whatever side the hand is on to prevent being knocked clean off the platform. While in this phase, Entropy will have an additional mechanic. After the ability is cast, there will be five void puddles scattered across the ground that must be soaked. If unsoaked, the party will take massive amount of AoE damage, most likely resulting in a wipe. The boss will begin to use mechanics from phase one, overlapping with some new mechanics from phase two. He also begins to use Shadow Eye, which will target a random player. Anyone looking at this player when the cast is finished will be stunned for 10 seconds. It's advised that any player with this debuff move to the back of the party so everyone else could continue damaging the boss. As time goes on, the boss will cast his abilities more frequent and create more overlaps. Now that we got the hardest part of the fight out of the way, the modifications that make Darkfire 3 and Unholy Darkness will then again overlap. The modified Unholy Darkness, marked yellow, will cast first, leaving enough time for players with Darkfire 3, marked purple, to run out without destroying the party. Rinse and repeat until the boss is dead, and you're on your way to the next raid of Eden's Gate. If you found this guide to be helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more Final Fantasy content. If you have any questions or other advice on this boss, please feel free to share it in the comment sections below. My name is Shale, and whether it's magic, mystery, or mayhem, remember, you can fall off the platform. 